Pinot Noir MV6. When we first announced to the world back in 2002 that we were going to um, open up our own quarantine, we called for expressions of interest for material for us to, to bring in. And one of the first approaches we had was from the Prince of Pinot Noir in New Zealand, Larry McKenna, down at Escarpment Vineyards. Larry had seen this clone in Australia, it's the preferred clone over there. He was pretty excited about it, so we, uh, we got access to it. Um, I think it originates from the Griffith Research Centre in Australia. Nick, tell me what you're seeing here and whether you think Larry is onto something or not. Yeah, well again, um, it, it is a compact bunch, um, quite small, uh, reasonably tight, it, it, but it seems to have you know, quite tough skins. And that's, that's what we're looking for is in terms of um, keeping uh, resistance to botrytis. And I think that's, that's very important. There are some small berries in there. That, that bunch is a little bit more open, that one a little bit tighter. Uh, so there's some variability, um, media, uh, small compact bunches and medium productivity. Um, I don't know anything really about the winemaking cap um, capabilities of this clone. We've, we made a microvin in 2007 and uh, we're, we're very happy with the, with the, the wine from that microvin. And I, I think when clients have come through over the last four or five years walking through the whole panel of Pinot Noir clones, in the early days, they kind of almost bypassed um, MB6. I'm not sure whether it's, it's because of, there was an anti-Aussie feeling or what it was, but they, they were all more focused on the Ontave imports and particularly the 828943. I must say in the last two or three years, um, people have started looking at it and as it's settled down and got a bit, the vines have got a bit more age into them, I think you know, there's been some pretty favourable comments from, from a number of very respectable winemakers. Yes, uh, quite quite high acidity in this in this fruit. It's still ripe, but uh, it's just got that high acidity, which I think's uh, well, which MV6 is well known for. Ripe flavours with higher higher acidity. Okay, so that's the end of the tour, the virtual tour through 40 years of clonal importation of the Pinot Noir clone. Um, we think it's a pretty fascinating story, and hope you enjoyed it.